Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Happy New Year, everybody. Um, this is the first video of the new year. So as you can tell in my puppy pool, I've been doing a lot of red, which was Christmassy. Now I'm going to do a blue. But anyways, welcome back to our channel. If you're new, welcome. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. Please subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell. You will be notified whenever Phil uploads a video. Also, make sure that you have your um, iPhone on. Uh, the notifications, notifications on. on. That's very, very important. So today I have my 8 by 16 square canvas. It's not square. It's a rectangle. Oh, <laughs> rectangle. <laughs> my brain is square today. Um, okay. I'm losing train of thought here now, okay. Phil. Uh, rectangle. Uh, this is the Blue Plate by Sherwin-Williams. It's a very, very pretty color. It is. I'm into the blues today. I was going to use purple. Then I was going to use blue. Then I was going to use white. So I ended up with blue. I just tossed a coin and it came up B for blue. <laughs> so there is no water. There is no silicone. There is no glue in this. This is a sample size from Sherwin-Williams. And you're off to kind of a crazy start here in 2023. It's going to be a crazy year, Phil. You never know what we're going to do. Yeah, the real, the neat thing about these uh, color to go paints that you have to use for a base is that they're the perfect consistency right out of the can. Yes, they are. I love these. Yeah, head on over to Sherwin Williams, yeah. pick yourself up some colors. Yeah, they come in several hundred colors actually, and. Go in there, pick out the colors you want, you're ready to go. Now I've got some colors that are pretty funky. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't, they don't really look like what the colors really are sometimes. It's like, oh, but they're pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna spin this. Get a little bit of it off. Get my sides covered. And I'll just be like the blue man group. That's what I feel like. Kathy yeah, does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. She'd love to have you join. You can post your own creations, which is really cool. Ask questions, make comments. It's wonderful for beginners. It's a safe place for everybody. There's lots of wonderful artists that post uh, in there, it's really a cool Facebook group. There's a direct link in the description box to become a member of Kathy's Facebook group. And also, of course, there's a link to subscribe to her YouTube channel by the same name, Paint Point by Kathleen Miller. And there you can find over 700 videos that Kathy has done over the years, along with some discounts for products that she uses. Yeah, I'm always asked, what products do you use? Just go to my Amazon shop. Actually, they're all in there, and uh, you'll know exactly what I use. I had to change those gloves because I was it was going to make a big mess. Okay. All right. So, we're putting on new gloves now. My colors, we're going to go through my colors because I have some qu uh, questions from some uh, subscribers that say, okay, can I mix my paints with pigments? Yes, you can. You will see that I've done that today. The consistency and the mixture is exactly the same for the pigments and the paints. And so I can mix anything that I want to do with my paints or my pigments. And yes, and, and they can actually learn about that in your recipe video. Number 478. Yes, and there's a direct link to that recipe video and shows you exactly how to make combinations of paints and pigments and the fluid acrylics. Okay. Okay, so we have Teal by Golden. This is Aubergine by Color Art Primary Elements. What I did here was I took my Amsterdam Azel Yellow and I mixed it with my Tiger Lily by Color Art. As you can see, it's very, very pretty. You can do whatever you want. This one, it's Iridescent Blue Green by PBO, and I added a little bit of Golden Light Phthalo Blue to it. This is Chambord by Color Art 
I mixed it with my apple rose, which is also color art. This is golden pyroli orange. This is color art sea glass. This is Arteza Bordeaux red. And that is my 24 karat gold by DecoArt. And like I said, you can, you can mix paints with pigments. Just try because every, you're, I've had some people say, oh, I'm so afraid to do that. It's only paint. I always say it's only paint. And if you have a color that you don't really like and you have another one sitting around, just mix it. It's only paint. You might get a, a new color Cut, out nice, of it. Nice custom color out of it. Exactly. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do things a little bit different here today. This is aubergine. All these colors will be in the description box, so you don't have to worry about writing them down or remembering them. So you can see I'm doing things a little different here today, Phil. Yes. I can't wait to see what you're going to come up with. Oh, it's going to be something. just in a funky mood for 2023 so I'm just doing some things a little different we're gonna see what happens you never know until you try it right yes so I hope everybody had a great New Year's and a great Christmas I know we did we had a lot of fun here we have birthdays you name it, we have it in Christmas. Yeah, December's a busy month for that. Very busy. But the good news is I have all my Christmas decorations down and I have my Valentine tree up because that is my favorite holiday of the entire year. Phil can tell you I'm just crazy about Valentine's Day. You are. <laughs> and I have... They now have a whole bunch of gnomes out, so I have all of my gnomes. Valentine gnomes? Yes. Can't go without them. You know, people, gnomes are very, very good luck. I have one up all year long. Yeah, you have gone gnome crazy, that's for sure. Yes, I have. My next thing is a gnome tattoo. Oh, jeez. I'm getting a known tattoo. That's oh, it. brother. I've already decided I'm getting a known tattoo. You wait and see. That's fine. That's fine with me. Okay. So here we go. This is going to be something, though. Okay, my cell activator is Oxide Black by Amsterdam and uh, Australian Floetrol. That's all it is. That's it. Of course, now you can, the Oxide Black is a tube paint from Amsterdam. Correct. And you can use any of the tube paint colors if you want a different colored cell activator. But it's always put, in Kathy's case, her recipe with Australian Floetrol. That's it. And look at the cell activation she had almost instant instantaneously. Now I'm using a different palette knife again. Oh, okay. Using a little smaller one. So I'm going to go like this. Oh, 
art on my there we go on my things on your uh, paper towels paper towel art okay now on to the next one okay i'm going to do this one again Kathy yeah, simply pours a good amount of cell activator onto the back side of the spatula or palette knife. Yeah, you can call it whatever you want. Well, when I use it to flip burgers, I call it a spatula. Yeah. <laughs> I just wipe it clean for you when you want to use your paint. You know, some people might believe that, so you better <laughs> you better watch what you say because they'll go, oh, you know, oh, Phil said that he oh. uses it. Yeah, I better be careful. Yeah. I don't want anybody to get sick. No. Just wow, get, getting some real cool stuff there. Just get a gnome because that way <laughs> it's good luck and you won't get sick. Okay, we got one more to go. We're going to see what happens. Don't forget to check out Kathy's Etsy shop. She has a variety of products out there. Really cool, funky boots, about 20 different styles of boots. Uh, some of, of course, some of her original art is out there, uh, especially the art that she has on the metal, aluminum, which is really cool. I love my metal art. So there's a direct link to Kathy's Etsy shop in the description box. Okay. Now let's see what we're going to get here. That's quite different, so it should be interesting oh, to see what all right. you're going to do with this. It's different. We have to see once what we're going to do, Phil. we got to let that come up. In some areas where there's a little bit of excess cell activator, it does take a little bit more time for it to perk, but it's doing its thing. And if you don't want it, I mean, just dab it. As they say, a little dab will do you. Or you can blow on it with your you straw. You can blow it. Yeah, I'm going to show them that Bring too. up the colors underneath. Because there's always colors underneath. There might just be blue here though. Yeah. I think so. But it brings it up. See the colors under mm -hmm. there? This might just be blue too. Whoops. Okay, I'm gonna do a little enhancing.
cow. Let me get an overview this way. And that is such a cool area there. Can you put that on the bottom by me? Wow. It sells, oh, this really looks, um, this look, kind of looks like a creepy bird. Look at. <laughs> oh, it does. Right yes. here, like a hawk or something with his he big beak. Got the head, the chest, the wings coming down. That's pretty cool. That is really That's cool. Really cool. And you got this really neat area here. And then the, the end. I like, I like that blue, uh base too. I like the blue base because you have some separation. You have some negative space between the different areas mm -hmm. that you created and so forth. And the colorations are just fabulous um, with the cells, multicolored cells. Up in here, look at that. Really cool cell activity, large cells. Small cells. Yes. I mean, cell within a cell. But this bird, oh, watch <laughs> yeah, out, people. The bird. We got to call this. The bird is the word. The bird is the word. <laughs> the bird, bird, bird. So if you like my creation, uh, give me a thumbs up. That would really help my channel. Um, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to our channel. We'd love to have you. And uh, like I said, you can mix paints with pigments. You can do anything. It's your creation. And it's only paint. So don't be afraid of it. Just go for it. And you can even make a... Cell activator with pigments. Exactly. So, I mean, there's never ends. There's no end to this uh, paint pouring. So, I hope everybody has a great day. I know I did now that I see this creepy bird in here. Wasn't planned on that, but boy, you can really see him. I hope you can find him, everybody. So, until the next time, have a great day, and I will see you all later, alligators. Bye. I'm going to go th up through here. See the different areas. And then I'm going to have you turn it sideways one more time so we can get an overall view of the different character and the different areas. Yeah, and tell me what you see in this uh, paint. I love it when uh, my subscribers tell me what they see because then all of a sudden I'll go, oh my gosh, that's right, I can see that.